Hey guys, I'm Harmony. If you didn't know what I know, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use VLO to add sounds to your videos. I'm also going to be showing you how you can get copyright-free music and yeah, if you guys do not want to hear a lot of talking, I highly suggest you not watching this video because I'm going to be trying to make this as in-depth as possible because I want you guys to have the best videos possible. It was requested and I just want to put y'all on. You guys are going to be seeing everything, and I'm going to be doing it all on my phone. My tripod doesn't bend more than that. <gasps> oh, shoot. I just broke it. So, dang, that's right. Okay. So, we're going to open up Velo. Wait, no. Before that. Before that. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get copyright free music, right? I'm going to show you guys in my recently deleted real quick. So, I got a few sounds. Just a few sounds, you know, from YouTube. So all you have to do really is go to YouTube, go to the search bar. First, you want to say what type of music you want. So if you want aesthetic music, type aesthetic, no copyright, music. Or you can type in other keywords like background music or etc. Most of these videos are really, really old because nobody really makes these videos anymore. Except for like music channels or whatever. So like you can go through and pick. If you guys want to check to see if the music is copyright or not, I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. What you're going to do is you're going to screen record the certain audio that you want. And once it's saved to your camera roll, so once you have your screen recorded video, all you're going to do is go to YouTube. And you're going to upload that screen recording as you would a normal video. If you guys are YouTubers, you would know. All you have to do is upload it as a regular video. It's right here. You click next. Now what you're gonna do is, you're not gonna actually post it, but you're gonna post it private. So see how it's privated? You don't really have to put a title or anything, just put anything you want, so I'm gonna write hey, because it's really not important. And you don't have to change the settings or anything, all you have to do is upload it as private, and this will only take a few seconds. Okay, now that it's done, you're going to go into YouTube Studio. Yes, you're going to need YouTube Studio. If you don't have it, get it. You're going to click on the video you just uploaded. And then, under restrictions, if it's not copyrighted, it should say none. But if it is copyrighted, it will say copyright. Let me show you guys close up. So you're going to click the video you just uploaded. And you see where it says restrictions? It should say none. But if it doesn't, that means that it's copyright. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually get that music that you just stream recorded on your videos. Now, if you use VLO, great, because I'm going to be using that software in today's video. But if you do not use VLO and you use iMovie or CapCut or anything like that, I highly suggest using VLO, especially if you're using iMovie because iMovie is kind of trash. Don't bash me, but I hate iMovie so, so, so much. I just personally do not like iMovie. So. Here's what you're going to do. We're going to scroll to MP3 Converter. Now, I talked about this app in my top apps you need as a small YouTuber. By the way, if you have not checked it out, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it in the iCards above so you guys can go ahead and watch it because literally, MP3 Converter is going to save your life. Like, download it right now. So, MP3 Converter, we're going to just simply click on it. And basically what this app is, you take a screen recording or a certain video that has audio and you want that audio to just be audio and not a video, then you'll use MP3 Converter to extract the audio from the video and then you can use it for whatever you need to. So basically what you're going to do when you get into MP3 Converter is you're going to click the little plus sign. If it wants to allow something or anything like that, just click allow um, because you might have just downloaded it. But literally, this is all the music and sound effects I have for my videos. Most of these down below I don't use anymore because I literally hate it. Um, I get bored of sounds really, really easily. So we're going to click the plus and what you're going to click is import from camera roll. So you're going to click import from camera roll. You're going to take that video that you just screen recorded and you're going to press it. And then you're going to click add at the bottom. And then what that's going to do is it's going to go to the top, see? So you added it into the app, and then you're going to click it again, and you're going to click Convert. And it's basically going to process and convert the video to only audio. Like, this app is so, so dope. It's all done, so you'll be on this screen. And what you're going to do is, if you want to name it or anything, you'll just click this, and then you're going to name it. Whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Pea Popper because that just came in my brain. I don't know why. But we're going to name it Pea Popper. And then we're going to click OK. And then it's done. That's all you got to do. If you want to get this audio to your computer, all you're going to do is... Okay, so this is if you have Apple devices. So if you have Android or anything like that, I can't help you at the moment. I'm so, so sorry. You're going to click Export. 
and all you have to do is airdrop it and then from airdrop it should just simply go to your finder and then you can open it and whatever software you use so now we're going to go into Velo. now this is really really easy to do you're gonna click create new project and I'm just gonna click a random video that I have in my camera roll so let's do this one I was at a school orientation I don't know if this is gonna be in my video or not but yes wait not my school orientation it was my sister's so we got the video in there great now we're going to be clicking the little music button and then this screen will come up and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to click my music and then you're going to click upload from file and then it's going to have you watch an ad it's usually 10 to 30 seconds so we're just going to watch it All right, and then it will bring up all of your files. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the search bar right at the top, and you're gonna type in whatever you just named that screen recording audio. So I named mine P Popper. So there is my audio. We're gonna click it, and there's our audio. And then you click the check mark, and then you can simply add it to your video, and this is what it will look like. Okay, you guys, so basically, that is what the video looks like. I moved very, very fast with this tutorial. That is because I move fast in everything I do, basically. My mom even tells me that. Like, when I try to teach her how to edit, she's like, oh, slow down. If I did not go too in-depth, please let me know. It's really simple, and I hope this will help you guys out. And I love you guys all so, so, so much. If you want to see some more tutorials like this one, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. It's free, by the way. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.